What's up guys, Cody here, back with more ethereal item review content, this time looking at the guns. As a reminder, I have item review videos for all the different categories of items for ethereal on my channel, or you can check down the playlist uh, in the description below. But yeah, so talking about guns, guns give a, well, a, 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 physical power and magical power, and it's interesting because it implies that you might have people that benefit from multiple um, hybrid builds. It implies that hybrid builds are going to be a thing, potentially. Um, so yeah, I don't see, let me just, I always want to, I always like double checking this, what the difference is, tier one and tier two items. Um. I've looked at these kind of, um, and some of them I kind of I kind of like. Uh, but yeah, we'll jump right into it. So the cryogenic cannon gives you cryo rounds. Every thirty seconds, your next basic attack splashes in an area two hundred meters uh, wide. A round where you attack um, deals one hundred two hundred damage plus ten percent physical power plus ten percent magic power and leaves thirty five percent slow field for five seconds. Uh, the cooldown is reduced by two seconds for landing basic attacks on enemies. Ground passives active. Which is interesting, because I think these are all rounds. Ah, uh, okay. So you can only get two guns, is what this is saying. Um, which is very interesting. Now, this item itself uh, looks very, very cool. It's pretty much like, think of like Crossfire Gauntlet, you know, or uh, Icebone Gauntlet. But now it's in, now that slow passive is in an offensive build, but it's also a hybrid build. It's interesting. Um, I don't know who would make the, like, I don't know, like, what type of build would make the best use out of this. But assuming you have enough stats, this, like, this passive AoE, the passive damage off of this item could be pretty significant. Um, especially because like the cooldown is reduced every two seconds when you land a basic attack on an enemy, that's gonna apply on minions too. So if you can, so like I can see you getting this in lane, and then every time you have this up, you go into auto the opponent. Um, so that way you get like a quick good trade in, and it's gonna slow them so they can't really um they can't really engage on you, they can't really run away. Um, granted, the area is gonna be pretty small. Two hundred units, I believe, is an extremely small um like i think like a hundred units is essentially like play range pretty much I'm not sure it could just be like but um yeah 200 units as far as i'm aware it feels it seems like it's going to be a small area so getting out of this is not going to be a huge deal but the opponents like try to stay in it it's a five seconds duration so they're gonna just be screwed. um pretty much like the, the five second duration thing is like the war is like this, the worst part about this in terms of from a balance standpoint, 5 seconds is a long time, and the 35% slow is a long... Like, it, it's 35% slow at 5 seconds is going to be pretty devastating. Granted, it's going to go away as soon as you walk out, but the fact is the matter is, is that because it's so long, you have to walk out pretty much. You can't just sit in there. Like, if you sit in there, you're just going to just... You're just going to die. So... Yeah, I don't know who's going to make the best use out of this. I, uh, probably somebody that's going to get some attack speed built in their kit as well. So you probably want to pair this with an attack speed gun. Um, which we'll get into. I haven't quite looked at these all that much. Probably this gun. Or this gun. Either I, Honestly, either of these guns seem good. So, yeah. We'll have to see. I think, like, I think these gun items are going to be something that like you have to your eye on because it's hybrid build stuff potentially but even then i could very easily see uh i could very easily see builds incorporating these items just because their abilities are too and the fact that like let's say like the fact that you know my ad person isn't actually going to build magic power might not matter that much if i'm if i'm effectively using the passive well enough that's something that like you have to keep in mind uh, so then we'll move on to the Scorch Phantom, because uh, it's in the same three line. Um, landing a basic attack on the enemy applies Hellfire, dealing 15 to 30 
uh, physical damage every second for three seconds, stacking up to three times. At three stacks, the Hellfire reduces all healing. Uh, during this time, stacks cannot be refreshed until... Mm, so this one I don't think is that good. Um, you have to attack someone three times, and then they get the Grievous Wounds effects. Um, it'll last for five seconds, but the effect is only going to be at a 10% rate. Um, this doesn't seem like amazing. I guess it's something that like you could get for uh for like a one hit type of person. Um, especially because I know that there's like the, the bow that will do the ricochet damage and whatnot, and that could be pretty cool. Uh, with this item, but overall, I don't see it really being used outside of that. I don't really being it. I really see it used for this item outside of like some type of on hit build. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't. I'm not. I'm not really sold on Scorch Phantom. Not really sold on Scorch Phantom because I. Like, I, I mean, I guess, like, if this is, like, your best way of applying Grievous Wounds, and I'm going to keep calling it Grievous Wounds, that's what, I, that's what it is in League of Legends, the, the re reduction of healing and whatnot. If that's, if this is, like, your best item for it, then sure, yeah, I guess this, I guess this will be what you get. Um, But it, it feels sad compared to, like, the other items that have more effective healing reduction. This one does last for five seconds, though, and I don't think the others last. For On hit builds, I can see, I can see this pretty, pretty decent, but definitely not as like a first item. So, and I don't, if you're having, if you're like going two guns, ah, I just, on hit, I like, uh, yeah, on hit build only. I, I don't know. I, I feel like if you got two guns, like you're only taking the Scorch Phantom. As your second gun, if you have like some type of on. So then, Ripple Spell Rifle. This is Lich Bane, pretty much, but it's uh, a little bit better. Well, a little bit more geared towards um interesting playstyle. I guess. a different, a slightly different playstyle. So after casting a spell, your next basic attack deals an additional fifty to twenty uh, base damage, uh, plus fifteen percent physical power, plus fifteen percent magic power. Um, but three second cooldown. Three second cooldown is relatively short um it does mean that like you can't like really burst it but i can definitely see like we already know Ky we already know dante's kit and so we already know that like he's pretty similar to like what legends where he can dash and whatnot and so he dante could really easily i think use item yeah he could pretty easily use item i think i yeah that's yeah dante could definitely have some type of hybrid build going on, which is uh some scary. Yeah, that's very scary. Like like if you have an effective hybrid build going on, this item very scary. This item is very scary. And honestly, like the guns themselves start to become very, very scary if hybrid builds are effective. That being said, it some it this all depends on how um how well kits mesh with hybrid builds. But either way, spell ripple spell rifle itself really strong on anyone that even autos in between their basic attacks. So and this gives attack speed too. So yeah, this good item in general, even if you can't effectively use some of the stats with it. Yeah. Good item. Then we have the Torment Rifle. Landing a basic attack on an enemy afflicts them with corruption, causing additional basic attacks to deal 3-7% of their current health as magic damage. Um, yeah, this is extremely, extremely good. This is a, this is a, put, put, put this with Scorch Phantom into a on-hit build and yeah, you're dealing a ton of damage. Like, Scorch Phantom is like what you get at the end of the build. And then this this deals percent health damage. Um, but it is their current health, which is one thing to note with this item. Um, that being said, though, it's still really good at like shredding tanks. I think I think this is just a very item uh, for tank shredding and for an on hit build. Otherwise, 
Uh, this is not good. Like, obviously, like... Obviously, like, I think you could pair it with this and this pretty well. I think you could pair it with the cryogenic cannon and torment rifle very well. But... Overall... I, I just, like, an on-hit build, I see this being extremely strong in. Yeah, and that's gonna be it for the guns. Um, once again, yeah, a lot of a lot of this is gonna a lot of how strong these items are is gonna depend on how well hybrid builds actually work for different. Um, if they work well, then these items are scary. If you can effectively get away with some type of on hit build with this torment rifle and the scorch phantom, scary cryogenic cannon. The pass the passive this passive could be really strong, and the same thing with this. And it might not even matter about the hybrid stats. You, I think, I think these things are something that you really need to keep an eye on for the power level of, um, because these things could be extremely, extremely scary to face if there's if they're like actually outputting damage. But yeah, that's gonna be it for the gun video. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to like and subscribe. And just a reminder, I've got playlists for all the other I've got I've got a playlist with all the other videos of me covering all the items of the different categories and whatnot. And I also stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash CW5136. Um I stream mostly League of Legends over there right now, but when it's out, if I'm allowed to stream it, you'll see a ton of it. So make sure to follow me over there. So Thanks guys and catch you later.